but Trudeau has been a disaster for us in foreign affairs. The world doesn't pay any attention to us. And Melanie Jolie, who's the worst foreign affairs minister, global affairs minister that we have ever had, as much as admitted that when she said, we have to work really hard now to increase our influence. But one of the ways you have influence in the world is being able to defend your values. And that doesn't just mean going to UN climate conferences and tut-tutting about the rest of the world, telling the rest of the world how marvelous you are with your carbon taxes and your electric vehicle mandates. That's not how you gain influence. Preaching to the rest of the world usually turns them off. It doesn't make them your friend. Now, since Trudeau has been prime minister, that's almost eight years now, we have had been on exactly one peacekeeping mission. There was never a time under the Harper government when we had fewer peacekeepers in the world than we have had the entire eight years of the Trudeau government. You don't increase your influence by not putting your people into difficult situations on behalf of the United Nations. You also don't gain any influence by not having your jets ready or your tanks ready or whatever else it is that we don't have. And we have a long list of dilapidated equipment for our military. If you can't have your military ready, even just for exercises, I'm not saying that we have to go in hot exercise or, or hot situations and start shooting. But if you can't even go to exercises, the rest of the world starts to take notice and your influence is diminished. But the other thing that has really hurt our influence internationally has been the Chinese meddling with the Liberal Party and Canada's democratic institutions. The Americans were among the first people to tip off CSIS and the Trudeau government to the fact that the Chinese were using agents in Canada and surrogates to try and influence the outcome of elections. So the Americans know how closely affiliated the Liberal Party is to the Beijing regime. And as a result, for instance, we were not asked to join AUKUS, the Australia-UK-US alliance that is going to try and cur curtail Chinese activity in the Pacific. We're not even invited. We didn't even know it was going to be formed until it was announced. They kept it secret from us because we can't be trusted. 